hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about eight reasons why your cakes might sink in the middle so if you've ever baked a cake and it sank in the middle and you couldn't figure out why one of those reasons might be the reason why your cake sank in the middle so and don't be afraid like it happens to even the best of bakers like sometimes something just doesn't go right and then something might happen so your cake might still be fine but this is one of the one of those reasons might be the reason why but before we get started, could you please give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel? Okay, so the first reason is like you have an incorrect temperature in your oven. Yes, this might not be your fault. Sometimes the oven calibration might just be a little bit off. Sometimes your oven might run a little bit too hot or a little bit too cold. And there is no sure way to know except you get an oven thermometer. So an oven thermometer is basically like um, an external thermometer you buy from... Um, maybe like a food store and then keep in your oven and the best way for you to check is to put it in different points of the oven at different times to see if there are parts of the oven that run hotter than others okay so that aside another reason why your um <laughs> your cakes might sink in the middle is maybe because like you are under baking your cake number one like when you bake a cake the first part of the cake that gets baked are the like the parts closer to the pan if that makes sense the last part to get baked is in the middle so let's say for example you're baking a cake and it's just remaining like two three minutes to be done and like once you you open the oven it's going to look like it's done but it's not really done just give it a little bit longer so make sure you check if your cake is done before you bring it out of the oven which is by sticking a sharp object in the middle not by the side nor by the corner in the middle of the cake that way you are sure it is done okay so number three reason why your cakes might sink in the middle is maybe your leavening agent is expired it might be your baking powder or it might be your baking soda so you know like if you don't bake often sometimes people buy baking powder and then they just bake maybe once a while like once a month or twice a month so like by the time you realize your baking powder has probably stayed a year or two in the house without you even realizing so sometimes it might like start to rise but it will fall because the baking powder doesn't have enough power to develop the strength for your cake to really rise and rise properly so that might be the reason why your cakes sink in the middle but don't worry if this happens to you like i have a video on how you can fix a sunken cake and i put going to put the link right up here it says click on me yeah click on that okay so number four reason why your cake might sink in the middle is you're adding too much baking powder <laughs> yes yeah i know if your baking powder is expired like it will still show in your cake so if your baking powder or too, baking soda is too much in your recipe it is going to make your cake sink and the reason why is because like the cake is going to be rising a lot more than it should so like the leavening agent is making it rise a lot and it won't have enough structure to hold that height or that um risingness i don't know if that's correct english so it is going to end up falling in the middle because it, it didn't develop enough structure to be able to hold that height it is rising to i hope that makes sense to you guys so if you're using too much baking powder or too much baking soda to just rise to a point and then sink in the middle so another reason why your cakes might sink in the middle is if you measure your uh, your ingredients incorrectly so what i tell people is when you're measuring for cake Okay, baking basically is like um, um, uh, um, a chemical reaction. So when you measure, you want to make sure you measure correctly because if the proportions are not right, something is going to be more than the other. Some structures are not going to develop how they should be according to the recipe. So your cakes might end up sinking in the middle. So it might not be it that it's expired or anything. It might just be that you didn't measure correctly. So when you're baking a cake, or when you're baking something make sure you measure correctly that way you know that like maybe something is wrong with the recipe or something is expired if you've measured correctly okay so another reason is maybe you open the oven door too early so what i usually tell people is that before you when you're baking a cake make sure if the um time calls for um 100 minutes make sure you bake it for at least 80 percent of that time before you open to check if it's done there's no need opening the oven like 50 70 times just to check if it's done because you're excited so wait at least 80 percent of a time to check it if it is done because that way it will be well developed and you have like very little you know incidences of like collapsing in the middle and stuff so when you're baking a cake wait at least 80 percent of the time 
okay so number seven reason why your cake might sink in the middle is maybe you're over beating your batter at the last stage when i say at the last stage i mean after adding your flour to it what happens at this stage is that after adding your flour to your batter and you beat and beat and beat too much you're beating too much air into your batter so it will end up starting to rise so voluminously in the oven but towards the end it won't have enough structure to hold that height it has risen to so it is going to fall so once you've added your flour to your batter make sure you just mix until it is well combined don't just keep mixing and over mixing and stuff so because there's such a thing as over mixing a cake batter okay so number eight reason which is the last one why your cake might have collapsed in the middle is maybe you're mixing the ingredients the wrong way when you see a recipe usually they tell you to maybe put flour first and put the sugar mix it with the flour sometimes they tell you to mix the sugar with the butter and cream it first and everything make sure you follow that recipe make sure you follow the method laid out for you because the recipe has been designed in such a way to work with the method of mixing because if you don't follow that sometimes your cake might not turn out right so i hope these eight reasons why your cake might have sunk in the middle will help you figure out how to bake your next cake so it doesn't sink in the middle in the meantime please follow me on instagram on i'm on instagram as double underscores cake me away and also could you please leave me comment in the comment section below about like reasons why you think your cake might have sunk in the middle if i missed one or two so thank you guys so much and please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification thank you guys and i will see you in my future videos bye